Greetings and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm so excited to play. And also I'm so sorry for like releasing the first video telling you about my documentary channel. And then I forgot to put in the link. So it will be in the link below in the description below. I'll also try to pin a comment with it because I know a lot of people have been asking and I'm so, so excited for you to see stuff. So anyway, we're back to here. We were making a mall in our last, um, in our last game and the thing to do now is to make red science however we're not gonna make red science right now we are gonna make something else did we get red science already hello um i don't know matrix we already we already didn't get it okay so we need to get the matrix let's enqueue that and all these other things are queued as well but what we really need is we need to fly um, can we fly? No, we can't. Sad times. Okay, so we actually have to make red science today, whether we like it or not. Now, one of the things that we can start making is, is the, um, the paint. We're going to start painting our items and that's going to be a really important thing in the game because it makes us have free products, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool, kind of great. So let's see, I want to, we don't need to collect coal anymore for stuff. We are now going to just use um, this stuff for energy and we're gonna, actually I need to move that box probably. Oy. I don't want to move the box because we need to put a painter there, but let's go and make some paint. We're just going to make a simple kind of factory over here uh, to get some of this paint done. It's not difficult. We just need, I think we need assemblers. I'm not quite sure, but let's see. Let's just go here and make some paint. Uh, all right. So here it is. Yep. Proliferator Mark one. So it just takes coal and it makes paint. And then soon we shall have the painting devices, which are currently being crafted in my queue. Okay. There we go. Let's just get this going. So we're just going to use Mark 1 inserters. The other ones are not needed. And I do like to save resources if possible. If it's not necessary to have a Mark 2, then I'd like to have just a Mark 1. Okay, there we go. Oh, core energy depleting soon. Let's fill up. Hooray. Okay. So we do need to get the stuff. Okay, so we're going to let this happen. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Let's get rid of these rocks. Maybe they'll have some more silicon. Oh, spray coater. We finally got it. Hooray. Oh, that's great. Okay. So we finally have some spray coaters where we can uh, do the, the painting. Let's put this here because we'll put a spray coater here eventually. I don't want to put it right here directly, like immediately. And the reason for that is because this is a cheap product to make. Later, the first products you definitely want to coat with paint are going to be your sciences. So uh, I might also do these over here on that like sideways thing, but we really need to get the sciences done. So I think what we should do is set up, maybe we should set up the red science over here. Let's see what we need for that. I forgot what goes into red cubes. Oh, I can't look at it because it's not there. Arr. Okay. We need to have the red cubes. Where is it? Is it this one? No. There it is. Energy matrix. Okay. So this needs, oh yes, this is right. We need the oil for this, right? Okay. So we need to have the, um, hydrogen as well as the energetic, uh, stuff stuffs. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and put in a second belt here and that's where our red, uh, science is going to come in. This is my anticipated thing for where red science is going to be. Let's go down real quick and we want to grab some more belts because factories, we have a factory that's making belts. Hooray. All right. We have two or one and a part of a stack there. Do we need anything else? I'm going to go ahead and look through our menu here. We have plenty of power poles. Do we have enough machines? We have 13 machines. That's, that's okay. That's enough. I think get seven more. That's fine. Uh, all right. So, and then miners, we need, we need to get some oil mining going on as well. Do we have a, let's see. It is mining oil miner. Oh my gosh. We don't even have oil mining yet. Holy fuzzy gas. This is not good. This is not good. Let's skip that for now. We need this. So that's plasma extract refining. Okay. All right. 
And then this one. Gosh, we're slow now. All right. Well, anyway, we're going to try to find the plasma thingy thingy. Meanwhile, let's save a couple of those extractors because we do have a very limited amount of that silicon. Let's just see. Here we go. Um, we have, let's see, nine of them. So that's actually pretty good. I think what we'll do here is let's put in these uh, proliferators. Uh, what are they called? Spray coders? Gosh, where are they? There they are. Yeah, beautiful. They are called spray coders. So ideally, you want to have them all in a row. But right now, they're not behaving. I think let's delete this here and that. And then just try to do this and like have a little bit lower there. Can we do that? Yeah. Okay. So let's put this one here and this one. Eh. Okay. I'm going to have to delete this power pole because I need to do a silly thing with the belt here like this. So that it's in line. Now being in line is very important. Just so you're aware. Uh, we're going to do this. So these uh, spray paint the items with a YouTube button, <laughs> which I think is cool. Uh, but to get that to happen, we need to have a belt on level two. Okay, let's go up to level two and you go through. You do not connect it inside, that doesn't work. You actually go through these things like this and that's how it fills up the tanks of spraying. So it's really cool if you have them all in a line. Like over here, we have a whole bunch of things in a line, which is fabulous right here. Uh, do we need to, we don't, we probably don't need to do this one. We could actually do them all here instead. Maybe that's a better idea. Let's do that. So it's under production. So let's put them all here like this, and then we can have them all in a line. And that's really very useful. Let's see. Can we, uh, we're going to have to do something here with this. This is not good at all. Also, we're going to have to do something else with this, which is also better better doing other things, <laughs> apparently. So let's see, this is going to go here and we can have it go up there like this. Endpoint must be horizontal. Apparently it does not like this one. Can we do this? No. Okay. But we can do like this. Hello. Uh, shift. Yeah. Like that. And then we'll just delete this part and redo that. There we go. Okay. Hello, Emma. What you doing, my baby girl? Oh, she's so cute. Love that cat. Okay. So this does not work. We need to go one down with this, I think, before the corner. So let's go here. All right. Up one. There we go. Okay. I just want to go down one. Can you do that thing? No, apparently not. All right. Let's, let's take it to, let's go all the way down and then go up one. That's what I want to do. And then go down one here. Okay. I think that's a good, a good way of doing this. Cat, please refrain. Um, so anyway, that's going to be this. And then let's put another spray painter here. Hello? No? Oh my God. Really? Okay. All right thing. You want to be that way? We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll be that way. Apparently. Can I move that one up one? see it goes there yeah that's the furthest so nope for whatever reason this is not wanting to be nice to me today alas and alack I guess maybe I'll just have to do a a squirrely thing like this and go down this away I think that's the way. I know that looks stupid, but I think that's what we have to do. Uh, because it's really good to align these things together. Wait, why is this not? It's picking up the belt instead of the thing. There we go. Okay, so there we go. That's much better. And these need power, of course. So we'll, tr we'll try to get some power in here. But most importantly, we need, of course, the pr proliferator belt carrying all of this stuff in here. So let's put in a power pole. Make sure those get covered. Beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. I think we'll have this proliferator belt. Maybe we'll run it on the second level in general. Um, so that's going to be kind of easy to think about, easy to do. Let's go you here. Good. All right. So here, that means we don't need these two because I think we already have that one. 
uh, both. Well, maybe not the magnetic ring. We don't have the magnetic, I think. Do we need it? Do we care? I don't know. I don't think it's that important. I feel like the, the higher level product obviously is going to be the most important thing that we, we can do here. Let us get the other belt. Let's get this proliferator belt. We'll start also at level two. I just kind of go here. And then how do we get that through here? Not quite sure. We have a little bit of a traffic jam. So I think we go up one like this. Uh, hello? No? All right. Well, let's go up one from here then. I, I love doing this. This is so fun. I love belts. They're great. They're great. Okay, so let's go here and then here and then we go down. Beautiful. I love tangly belts. It's so wonderful. It's like being a cat tangled in yarn. It's fantastic. It's like the best feeling in the world. It's so good. So then let's take, we're going to keep on going level one. I think it's on this line here. So yay. The yay is real right there. Oh, wait, that's too close. Never mind. Uh, let's click that and there and change that to be a little bit different. So we're going to go up here. Maybe like there is fine. Rotate just so we can mine out this coal if we want to. I think that's going to be a good thing. And then here, maybe we take off the last few. I, f I need to calculate how many is exactly like you know, one level up. So it's one, two, three, four, like five, five squares to go up. I'm going to go ahead and close off like maybe two squares here. And that's so that if I need to uh, put some back, then I can just put it back in the container. But let's see this work. This is really cool. Really cool. But I don't want to use up all of my proliferators. Like I said, we have four left. Um, but what we should do actually is instead of putting the products in the box well i guess it has to be used by a machine so everything that um you're using with these things has to be used by a machine but we're gonna see what happens so these are gonna they're first gonna fill up the first uh spray coater so um that is this little thing you can see it filling up but it will do the first one first so you can see things are getting spray painted and they are youtube hello See, game loves YouTube. Clearly, we are getting everything painted. Now, the important part about the painting, as I mentioned in the last episode, you see that it has the little play button up there. Um, everything has to be painted in order to get the bonus. You see right now it has zero extra products. And um, so once once the uh, gears are painted and that's those are here. So as soon as it gets a painted gear or I guess it uses up all the other gears that it has, that is when we're going to get some extra products and we're going to see that. Let's go. Come on, thing. Take. Use up stuff. Go. Okay, I'll take these things. Apparently, oh, I think we just, we need more uh, belts here. We need, I mean, we need a better, let's upgrade this inserter. That's what we need to do. This one, yes, go. Because it's not taking them fast enough. So here we go. And you can see when we have stuff taken, we get 12.5% extra products. And we also have higher energy consumption. But you see this little blue thing that is going around the circle. That is the extra product. So once that reaches the end, it's going to generate uh, several uh, an extra craft basically after that. So there we go. Yay. Nice. Okay. So that's perfect. It's really great. I think I'm going to also put, I'm going to put in another inserter here because I feel like it's just too slow. That's going to work a lot better. But anyway, like, like I said, you have to have all of the products painted or it won't work. So, um, if, if you only have like one of three, doesn't do anything. I mean, it doesn't even give you a fraction. It just doesn't give you anything. So that's why it's really important to paint stuff. I'm going to take this painting belt from here, I think I'm just going to just like, this could be like one long snake belt throughout, throughout your like entire factory. I think, I think that's what probably is useful. Okay. Let's take that there and then go maybe there. Sure. Seems reasonable. Okay. Robots build. Let's go. Hello. Robots. Where are you? Where are you? Hello. Why are they not building? Oh, there they are. They're just like way, way far. 
They're way far out. Oh no, it's gone on the wrong level. No, stop. Oh, bad, 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 bad. I forgot to put it on the second level. Okay, let's do that. I really wish that if you clicked a thing, it would stay on that level. I don't know why it doesn't. It seems like such a really weird thing to do for it not to stay. It's like, why help? Go there. And then I'm just going to walk and put the proliferators in so that we can uh, paint these things. Because painting science is the best probably the best thing you can do because it is one of the most complicated products and therefore you s oh that's fun okay you can stack them oh, that's something I just learned um there we go let's paint this one and of course we have looked uh at the well actually let's look again we can see the other proliferators they all use kind of like variations of coal so this one uses diamond and that has a higher extra products bonus of 20 percent instead of 12.5 and then we have the other one, which is here. And that one uses nanotubes. So, yay. But also uses two of the previous one. This one, um, that one also uses two of the previous ones. So you're going to need four of the yellow ones to make a blue one. Okay, so let's go in here and get this connected through. Uh, oh. All right, let's go up. Of course, we need to go up and through. Yay. So that's going to paint those. And let's make sure that we have power for the painters. There we go. And let's just get our uh, <laughs> the rest of this belt finished because the, the bots haven't uh, decided, haven't deigned to do this work. Alas. I wonder if that would work if I just sniggled it on like this can i do this no it's unhappy it is unhappy we cannot do this so sad times all right there we go and paint is flowing soon we shall have even more blue science now we did get i guess we got the mining stuff so let's make another oil extractor let's make two of them since we can we want to make a couple of water pumps. This requires what? Oh, we need glass. So that's going to be stone. Uh, is, st is glass made from block bricks or just uh, stuff? Okay, so this is made from pyramids. Pyramids are made from glass. Glass is made from stone. Just plain stone. So we need to go and get some stone. Uh, but we also should start uh, constructing those pyramids because we need those things, I believe, to make the uh the 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 spray spray painters the spray painters okay so let's go and press f and make a couple of these let's make five or so we don't really need many of them okay and i want to check on one thing here oh yes i'm going to put in in the um calculator here i want to change the product to red science because that's what we're going to need next so we can see what we've got all right we need 16 arc smelters making this stuff that's a lot um i think we might set up a new coal production for that because it's mini and 24 matrix labs making this this is only for four per second by the way um yeah but anyway we're gonna need the 32 oil refineries that can't be right there's no way Maybe it is right. I don't know. Uh, or 16 extractors, 32 refineries. That may be too much. We might just like cut that in half or something. Because that seems like an awful lot. Like way too much. Anyway, I want to look at our, uh, our planet map and find where we can see the oil. Because we haven't actually looked for that yet, I think. We have some coal up there, which is great. Do we have oil up here? No, I want to make red science up here. Darn it. Where is... Oh, there's crude, crude oil over here. We could actually bring it over. That's not too too far along. And the coal is great that we can uh, get that. We need 32 veins. I don't know if we can get that many because that's, that's an awful lot and we don't have... We have some up here as well. We can probably get that. Um, but yeah, the uh, <laughs> the amount of oil. Jeez. I don't know what it, the calculator is telling me with this. Let's see. Does it say 32 anything 
Oh, it just says 32 refineries and 16 extractors. I wonder if that means 16. I think it probably means 16 production. Like this one is three production. Uh, but there are better ways of getting oil, but right now, or getting hydrogen, but right now we can't actually do it because we need the red science. So, all right, let's go. Let's do our thing. And we have gotten those things. All right, so we need many refineries, basically. Many, many of them. Uh, let's make 10. But I think, yeah, we need some of this stuff. I think I'm going to set up a factory real quick. Let's just do a glass factory uh, to get these little uh, thingy majingies going at least part partly so we're gonna set up let's just go with oh i wish i hadn't done that so close darn it okay well that's okay we're gonna we're gonna make this work we're gonna make it work so let's put this one here and this one is just gonna feed into the right the, the other belt here i think that's gonna be there so here what i'm gonna do is put a uh splitter like here uh right so there, yes, that's just fine. It's exactly the run we want. Remember, you can change the type of splitter you use with tab. Okay, so let's take this here and grab maybe one of these. Well, actually, we don't really want one of those. One, two, three, and then a new belt. Let's put that here. Okay, and delete. I don't want it to start making the wrong item for me. So let's see, we're going to make glass out of this. Okay, and then the glass is going to be converted into the pyramids, I think. So let's just put this here. Go, 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 and uh, spread the love. There we go. Wow, they're closer together. It's the it's the curvature of the planet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we can actually delete this last one because they're so close together. Okay, so then let's get power. Power important. Yes. Good, good. Now then, the other thing we're making is pyramids. And pyramids are made from glass. They're just made from glass. Okay, so we're going to turn this belt around and then just make glass. I think we're going to go to the end here, like this, and then turn it around and make glass here. I think that's the way we want to do this. So, okay, so here we can go there. Let's do six of these. This is not to ratio, by the way. This is just kind of making stuff. We're bashing this out so that we can have stuff. Now, I am going to put in a box here uh, for, uh, for stuff. Basically, just a couple of stacks of glass that we can pick up for handcrafting. Okay. This one is going to be pyramids. I don't know if we need pyramids for handcrafting. Actually, we're going to need them for the other thing that we're making, right? We're not going to... I don't know if we're going to do the other thing. Okay, let's see. Let's see what the other thing needs. Now we're talking about other things and other things, and it's... yes. There we go. Let's put those together, and then power poles, of course, are needed. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we have pyramids. Now, pyramids go into these things. These are the plasma exciters, and that we need those rings for. I guess we should make them because they're needed in many things. So let's just do that. Let's take that and... Ooh, I think we're going to have to do it this side, probably. Maybe we'll start over here, make these plasma exciters, and let's get a belt going here for those um, uh, magnetic rings. I was going to say super magnetic rings, but we're not there yet. Nope, we're just regular magnetic rings right now. And that's going to go here. So let's get these plasma exciters made. And they're going to take from both belts. So let's just get that done. Now, note that I am not putting any of the painters yet. Actually, let's put this over here so we can have a painter there. Um, so yeah, there we go. It's going to be a bit of a waste because we're painting the rings but we're not painting these other things okay so plasma thingies you go that way maybe okay there we go beautiful okay there we go oh this can that go through there no can we go above yes we can okay good we can go above all right so let's take hmm this one is on the ground, so 
these rings are going to have to come in on the second floor for sure. Uh, and then we go down. Good. So these are ringy ringies. Ringy ringies. Where are they coming from? Okay, those are motors. Ringy ringies. There you are. Okay. So ringy ringies are going to be uh, doing stuff. Hopefully, I'm trying to fit in a splitter here. That's what I'm doing with this craziness here. I think we have to go around this block. I think the splitters are not slim enough to fit behind. Behind, So I, we have to make a little box for this. As silly as this looks, it's going to be fine. I hope there's enough space. Let's see. But again, bash factory. It's fine. So tab needs foundation. Oh, no. <gasps> no. Err. Okay. I wonder if it will work over here. I could put it between machines as well. That is another option. Let's see. Does it work there? Oh, I don't want foundation. No. Let's see. Rotate. Yes. Aha. We got it. Yes. Err. Good, good. Okay. So wait, can this fit here? It can. Oh my gosh. They are slim enough now. That's interesting. I didn't know that. I, I thought they were that you couldn't do that still. Uh, cause before when I played a while back, that was not possible. You had to make space around them. So I guess the devs made them slimmer for us to enjoy that, uh, thing with. Okay. So that's good. Yay. The yay is real. We are yaying. Okay. So now that enables us to take this belt on the second floor and come out this way and then rotate and go there. Yay. Okay. So this gives us painted, uh, magnetic rings to go over into this production area, which is great, which is absolutely great. Now what's going on with this? Why are we not constructing these things very fast? I don't get that. Hello. Hello. Are you just slow? No, it has tons. We just need to upgrade the inserters. I feel like that might be a big project for us is just upgrading all of these inserters and stuff, because I think that sometimes we may need to just do that. Okay. Go, go. I wonder if, is there an easy way of doing this? No, probably not. All right, so there we go. That's going. That's working, working. Okay, good, good, good. Um, all right, and there we are. And so the splitter is already working and taking these uh, rings over here. These are painted rings. You can see they're YouTube approved. Hooray, play button, go, let's go. I find that so funny. It's good. All right, so now we can make this stuff. I'm going to make probably a couple of these machines or maybe three or something. I don't know. Something like that. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. So let's put in the next power thingy there. All right. So we just want to make some of these. That's our goal here. So I'm going to put these in a box. Um, and we're just going to craft them so that I can handcraft stuff. We might put this stuff in the mall, but right now we don't have, uh, we don't have the other materials to make those things. I mean, if we do put them in a mall, that's a huge like gain on the amount of stuff crafted, of course. So anyway, let's see, what are we doing here? We need to, ah, oh, yes, this one, we need sorters. That's what we need. Okay. So let's just finish this belt there and just grab what's on the end basically yay nice so that gives us some of that um which we need for making something was it this the refineries or extractors we have how many do we have we have uh, no we have two extractors okay that's i think that's enough for now i mean obviously it's not enough but it's going to be just fine. So this is the oil refinery. It's an assembler, apparently. All right, let's pick up whatever we've got in here. Um, let's put that down to like half, half a row. There we are. Let's go over here then and pick up some steel. Oh, we did we uh, get the steel going? No, nah, steel has not been 
uh, thingy yet. Okay. See, now this is a case where we probably should change this array so that we can paint these things that are going into the steel thing. So this array is probably not efficient anymore. We probably don't want to do that anymore. Let's see. I don't know if we, we want that much steel. I don't think we need it. Mineral field depleted. Where? Where? Oh, gosh. It doesn't show me where it is. No! I wonder if that's just a... I'm guessing it means just one square. I'm hoping. Because I hope none of the things has, like, completely run out. All right, we have this. Let's make one. Okay, now we need bricks. So let's go get the bricks. We had that down here. It's so weird the way you like run out of like one thing and it's like, okay, ran out of another thing and all of that sort of stuff. Let's go make one. Okay, now we're out of those again. <laughs> it's so weird. It's all good though. We are making them. It's very important to just get stuff and then... You know what? I'm going to let this percolate for a bit and then uh, we can set up the mo the oil stuff in the meantime. Okay, so I think red science is going to be made somewhere here and then we'll take the belt downward there. Let's just do that. Let's take this this way. Okay, and apparently even though we're painting blue science, we're not even using it sad times. All right. So the red science might actually be constructed like right here. Oh, we need to make some of these as well. Oh gosh, we're out of these too. No, we're out of glass. Oh, this is so frustrating. I should have put glass in the box. Yep, for sure. Uh, I could actually ship them over to be made, I guess, I guess. Though these guys hold plenty of glass, so I don't really need to worry about it too much. Okay, let's make these. Go, go, go make eight now what are we short of now lack of material I hate when it doesn't show you what you need that's frustrating it's like hello I I need four different things what am I what am I missing you know what do I not have enough of uh, it, it happens very rarely but it still happens and I'm like what do I need help me game okay let's go all right now we can make seven so now we're out of uh, green chips and and these, let's get one stack of these, one stack of chips or and thingies. All right, and we'll go press F and click it again. So these are those thingies, the labs. There we go. All right, now we can make 15, good. That's what we want. All right, so let's go up here and go ahead and put some of those down at least. We're gonna need, according to this thing, we need 24 of them, but I don't think we're gonna make the oil amounts that are needed so let's just put in a couple and we'll just yeah do that okay so these have let's see we'll have an output inserter or sorter there we go they go this way and then products are going to come in this way okay there we go now then Okay, very good. We'll just delete that last end belt. No need to have stuff hanging around. So these are gonna be reds, of course. Red and red. And of course, just one of them will power the entire stack. So we don't have to worry about that too much either. So here, let's get a power pole that side and one on this side as well. I don't know if that's needed, but there we go. So the first thing, I guess the first thing is going to be creating this uh, coal stuff. We'll do that maybe right down here somewhere. Is there more coal up there? Yeah, there's coal up there as well. So I think we're going to just take it and put it down here. How many of those production things I have? I have only two left, two sprayers left. So um, yeah, we need to get that figured. So how many of these things do we need? We need 16 of them. But we only can carry six per second. So that's going to be three arrays. We might as well just do 18, I guess. I'm going to go down and we're going to use blueprints for the first time, I think. And we're just going to go and grab one. We're going to go to our current coal uh, making stuff because we do have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it is control C to open up the blueprint interface. And then we're just going to select the parts we want, which is this. 
Okay, there we go. We can do save blueprint. Okay, we have, we're gonna do, yeah, new blueprint and we're gonna call it, oh, how do we uh, call it something? Current file, new blueprint. Ah, yes, here we go. So we're gonna call this um, energetic graphite. Okay, uh, X6. I think that's good to put the numbers. So save changes. Okay, so there we go. So we have a brand new blueprint. Does it, hello, does it show? Double click to use. All right, so here is our new blueprint. Oh, and we can just paste it with abandon. That's great. Okay, so here is where what we wanna do. We're gonna have three sets, one, two, and three. And that's what we're gonna aim for right now. Milestone blueprint, nice. And copy and save a blueprint. We got two more achievements, which is great. Or milestones, I guess. Oh, here we go. Some blueprinty stuff has appeared. All right, so while that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and also, oh, hello, Emma. Greetings, my little kitten. You're so precious, you're so good. So we'll see if we, I don't even know if we're gonna have enough nodes because we don't wanna use the landfill here. And this is like really sneaky area here. First stuff. That's three there. That's really not enough. Hello, my Emma. She's like standing on me and, and purring. Love this little cat. Oh, that was actually really good. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, we don't have enough belts. Okay, let's go back and get belts. We also need core energy, which I always forget about. I feel like that should be displayed on the UI or something like at all times, like maybe in the upper left corner, because I always run out and I don't like running out because I walk so slow. It's horrible. Uh, you can also um, spray your energetic graphite, by the way, and get a tiny bit more energy out of it, I believe. So that's cool. Let's go this way and... Go to the box. Hello, box. Let's take all your stuff. All right. Very good. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of these magnetic rings. I feel like I really don't need those at all. Uh, definitely not. Just I'll have to get rid of them slowly, apparently. But there we go. We have stuff now. Oh, and I forgot. Oh, no. And I just lost my... <laughs> I lost my wings. No. Ah, oh, sigh. All right, it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Nobody noticed. I'm sure nobody noticed. So we need smelters and we need um, belts. I like this U UI thing at the top. This is really useful because that's that helps with the shopping, you know, in the mall. It's great. It's pretty great. So let's take these belts. We need some. And then we needed what else? We needed smelters, of course. Yes. Let's take a couple. Eh. I guess we're, we're going to need to drop off some stuff in the box again. The junk box. It's not really junk, but it's... We have unwanted things here. Well, sort of wanted. So those can go. We also probably want to get rid of this, this, and that. We don't really need plain rock anymore since we're now making all the things. Let's get rid of the organic crystals as well. And that will give us a few more squares of space. Okay, smelters, we have 50, so that should be enough for now. Let's go and fly over there. Okay, here we go. And then bots can get to work on all this stuff now. Hooray. So let's take... Hmm. Let's see, it tells us we need 32. So basically two nodes per smelter. Um, let's count how many nodes we have. I don't know what we've got here. So this is three and seven is 10. So we need 12 for to fully cover. I guess this is just one in that case. Oh, that's a bit naughty. That's weird. That is a weird thing. All right, let's go all the way down here and... I forget where we're, if we're ending here. Is this pickup or not? I can't tell. No, the sorters, they should have an arrow right here that shows if they're going in or out. 
I would, I, I don't like that you have to power them to actually see that stuff because that just doesn't even make sense to me. It's like, what? Come on. Tell us, show us. We need to see. So now we have, we have red lightning bolts, which does not help us much. We do have a few energy generators, however, and we can stick a couple of those down here. Of course, we're going to connect it to the main network anyway, but it is nice to kind of, okay. What is that? Oh, it's just a rock. Okay. Weird. Okay, there we go. So this is all connected now to the main network. So we can hopefully now see what direction they're going. Yes. Okay, so we see the arrows here, but I wish those were appearing before we had to power them because that would be more convenient. Okay, so this goes here uh, and coal is going to be turned into energetic graphite. So now the next one is going to come down here that way and then the next one will be here. Let's see, this one will go this way. This one will go this way. Okay. And hopefully we can get enough for both of these. If we're not, then, well, we're out of luck, I guess. So let's see. Let's go there. Again, out of energy. I do find this energy system really annoying in the beginning of the game. I don't, I don't actually like it. I have a friend who loves it, but uh, I am not a fan. I gotta say I'm not a fan. All right, so we're looking for two sets of 12. Let's go ahead and see if we can organize that a little bit with these. So let's see. That looks like a fair few. Nice. There's that one. That's probably one set right there. Okay, what do we got here? We got eight. This one is seven, six, so eight and seven. Okay, so we have the two right here. This is very, very nice. Very good. One from the right and one from the left and a tiny bit extra, which is the best part, I think. There we go. I love those diagonal belts. I'm so glad they added those. Those are fun because they save you on belts and it's kind of nice. Just nice. Just a nice. Okay, let's see. Can we do some more wind mining down here? Let's do that. Okay, it's fine. I don't like to take time and place these wind mines. So what I really should do is just build a blueprint of a grid of them. You know what? We can do that actually. Let's go and copy and let's just grab a grid here of blueprints like this, for example, or even this maybe. Yes. Okay. Copy. Let's see. We're just going to use now just instead of saving it, we'll just use it now and oh no, blueprint areas are divided by tropic lines. Apparently that's not good. Oh, that's ocean, I think. I think the ocean is white. Hmm. That's so weird that there's this, like, divided by tropic lines. I don't know what that means. Let's see. I guess we can put stuff. It's hard to tell because, like, all the open spaces are like, hey, I might use that for production. <laughs> That's what it's feeling like at the moment. So that's why I'm not really like putting it down anywhere, but it is an idea. And if you are a fan of putting solar at the poles, like that is the best place to put solar as we have discovered in our previous series. Uh, Avon actually did the calculations for that and stuff. And uh, that was really cool to find out. And um, so it's best to put it at the poles and you can just, um, you can just, print a, a polar solar, solar polar blueprint, <laughs> and then have all of your solar just ready for you whenever you do a new thing. So you don't have to like spend hours placing those darn solar panels. So the blueprint system is really, really useful. I like it. It's kind of cool, but I am a very firm believer in using your own blueprints. Just, 
you know, make your own. It's fun. It's it's part of the game. It increases fun in the game. And uh, it's, it's just part of playing. Because, I mean, if you're constantly relying on other people to build for you, you don't actually have any fun. There's no fun in the game. You just might as well just, I don't know, MS Paint your way through the game. Doesn't make sense. Okay, here we go. We're getting... We should have that last smelter. I don't know why they're not delivering. There we go. Okay, cool. So now we have many belts of energetic graphite here. So that is all apparently going to go into the thing. Okay, we need 0.7 of an upgraded belt, but we don't actually have that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run one of the one of these belts, and then we'll upgrade the belt, and then we'll have full production on that. Oh no, wait, is that correct? Yes, it is. Okay, I thought I connected the coal there for a second. Okay, there we go. So we're going to run this all on the same belt, and that is going to come in. Let's just take this. I'm going to take it square wise because we are going to have that other product coming in here with the oil. I need to find a really big place to set up that oil. Let's go that way. Let's see. Do we still have enough? Yeah, we do. But yep, ran out of steam there. Darn it. I know the oil was up here somewhere in that direction anyway. But I want to see what we're going to transport. Because I, I don't know what we're going to move. Whether it's going to be the oil or the oil products. I kind of feel like maybe I should build the oil on this uh, little island over here. Because there's some room and it's not going to interfere with anything else. So that seems good. Okay, let's do that then. Let's get an oil extractor. We'll have it go this way. Okay, very good, very good. And now we're going to get in a belt. So let's see. Mm. Belts for oil, we need 1.4 blue belts. So I think this one is what, three per second or something? Yeah, three per second. So what we should do is paint this oil. So I'm gonna leave a painting spot. Uh, and then we can process it. So what I'm going to do, let's get in our oil refineries. Oh, we didn't make more of these? Wow. We really need more. Okay, I'm going to go and get more of those plasma refining thingies. Because we need many of these. Like, it says we need 32 refineries to make what we need to make here. Oh, this energy thing is so stupidly slow. Help! Why? <laughs> Why? Err, makes me sad, this thing, uh, that it's so slow. All right, let's go and, let's go and get a thing. Get a thing. Go this way. So I like that stuff getting painted. That's more products for fantastic, you know, really good. And we're, we're going to paint everything as soon as we have enough uh, of the painters. That's what we're really lacking on is the silicon to be painting. So. Oh boy, this is a thing. All right. Let's see, click on this. Let's see. We're, we are at really good power right now. Nice. Very good. Let's keep on going. I guess I can also start on more of these refineries. Yes, 12. Okay, so that's that's something. Good, good. Now we're out of bricks again. That's not ideal, but it's okay. It's just one thing at a time, right? Okay, so now we have the ability to put these things down. I think we're going to do, I'm going to start off with machines here. And we have a couple of different products that need to come out. So what I can do, actually, let's see. If we do this here, like that, I want to get the painting to happen like this. So that's going to be another product and another product. So this, ah, oh, there we go. This has to be there actually. So this machine has to move over one. Oopsies. 
There we go. Okay, so production, we're gonna have oil refinery here. Now this doesn't matter how, you know, if it's further, it's, it's, we need to leave space. That's the point. So here we're going to make these belts and then we're going to do the things we're going to do input. And then these have two different outputs. So you make sure you filter them correctly to be outputting on the correct belt. Now then we're going to copy this. Um, let me see how much space these can do. These can do like three or two. So every four, we need to put in another power pole. So there's four. Oopsies. Hello? Why is this not building? There it is. Okay. That was really strange. Let's build these pretty far. I've kind of forgotten how much like one oil seep. So three per second. How much are these per second? Let's see. We're doing this. And this is... Oh, I don't know how to read this thing per second. How is this working? Let's see. Is it here? Fuel type chemical. No, that's not what we want. I think we have to look from this other screen from here. Okay, so this is four seconds. Uh, and you use two in four seconds. So you use half per second. Right? Right. So if we're using half per second, that means we can support six on this one machine. So let's put in six on this one machine. So we have another one there and then we put in our power poles. Okay. And then another two. And then what we can do is put in another, uh, insert more oil onto this line and have them on the opposite side. That's what I usually do. So that's very nice. Now then the other thing we need to do is make a couple of boxes, a couple of tanks here. Oh, and we're out of everything. Of course. Yes. That's, that's the way it goes here with this. Let's see. Do we have wind mines? We do. We have a few. I can actually put some wind mines down here and just add power over here. So it's not such a struggle course it might be a struggle anyway because we can't get another okay, let's see can we do this yes there we go that's nice very good all right but I'm still gonna take the power poles out there because of needs and I think let's see where are we on the world here we need to go go st we can go straight and then go kind of end up right there. There's our red factories over there. So we do actually need quite a lot of belting going on. So I'm going to go ahead and just start that belting. Uh, this is going to take forever for our boss to do. And of course, even longer because I have no more belts. That's not ideal. So let's go and grab more belts. And while we're going this way, let's just take the power with us. I hope I can take the power with us. Jeez, this is quite Quite not good. No, help. Oh boy. Oh, this is bad. All right. I guess we have to go up or around maybe. All right. We'll take the power up and around. Not a big fan of this, but we're not using foundations in this playthrough. This is our achievement thingy. Oh, this is so bad. No, the nigh is real. No driving. Ha! <laughs> have a mech run out of energy and fall into water? I guess walking counts as falling. Perhaps. Uh-huh. Uh? Okay. All right. Let's see. Is there a better way to go? Yes. We'll go this way, I think. Or can't. No, that, that way didn't work. We can go down this way, I think, and go around. Okay. That's the way the power is going to go even if not the rest of the stuff. I feel like we have just like put power poles over the entire world here. Okay, let's put the one there. Does that count? I don't know. Okay. Come on, little bots, make stuff for me. Okay, so that's connected up there, which is great. It's really hard to see the blue lines on top of the blue water. Like it's really difficult. Okay, there we go. That should do it. So that's at least that done. That's done. There we go. Well, almost done. Maybe. Can you guys do that one? Hello? Hello? 
Yeah, this this struggle with the energy is not making me a happy girl. Let's do let's just use the rest of our hydrogen and uh, that'll be fine. That'll give us quite a lot of energy, except for the part where I can't fly because it takes too much energy to lift off. Sad times, sad times. Um, yes, very sad times. But that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna keep on going. We're gonna be good and going along and doing the things and the stuff. So let's find our box of fun. There we go. There we go. Now, we need the other things as well. I think we needed belts, lots of belts. So let's get all of these actually. So here is where we probably want to output them to a line here and paint them. And then we can insert them into the next structure. I think that's probably what we need to do with that. So what were we doing with, oh, we needed materials for those boxes. Yes. We needed the bricks, which are over here. Let's get a couple of stacks of bricks. And then what else did we need for the container? Uh, where is the container? There it is. Okay. We needed, oh, just plain iron. Okay. I see. Cool. Now, I don't know if it matters if you have, cause you can have painted and unpainted iron, but do note that if you have iron in your thing and you just like pick it up from the belt, here, I'll show you. It'll just, well, this is unpainted, but it will just uh, count as unpainted. So you'd have to actually drag it from a different, uh, like a, like a storage box. You can drag it into here and that will have the painting on it. But if you just like pick it up from the belt, it'll go into the lowest or it'll go into a pre-made stack. So yeah, that's not, not the most ideal situation, obviously. Okay, let's see. These need to be done here. I'll just let the bots do these things. Let's go, let's go. But yeah, you can you can essentially multiply your production like many, many times with this painting thing. It's pretty cool. It's very handy. Oh gosh, but I see now by the time that we will not get to completely finish our project. Um, we will finish the red science in the next episode. However, we're almost there. We have both products. We just need to get them to their destinations. And then of course we need to have, uh, some of this stuff made. Did we make these boxes? No, I, I didn't. Uh, let's make 10 and, uh, yeah. And so then we're going to be able to get some of that red science stuff done. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.